Welcome back to the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of our free take and make projects available at all branches while supplies last. Very proudly, I'm going to show you how to make the three light circuit project. So grab your materials and let's get started. In your kit, you'll find a breadboard to hold your circuit together, four buttons, one three color LED light, a single color LED, two long wires, three other long wires, and five short wires, a piece of copper tape, a piece of duct tape, and an LED battery. To fasten your battery to your circuit, you're going to take your two long wires with the black ends on them and bend them accordingly. This will let them lie flat on the battery. You can then take your piece of copper tape, rip it in half, and then peel it. You only need a small amount. You can then tape your wire to one side of the battery. You'll do the same with the other wire on the opposite side of the battery. Looks good. It should look like this, with wires coming off both sides. To have a more secure fit, you can rip off a small piece of duct tape and tape it to both sides of the battery, thus securing your wires in place. We're going to start by showing you just how to get a simple LED lit up with this battery. Notice there's a plus sign on that side of the LED battery, and this prong of the LED is slightly longer. That's going to line up to your positive side of the battery. The other side will go on the negative side of the battery. And there you have it. Bring! You have light. Now this is a breadboard. It might look complicated, but it's a little bit easier when you understand that all the vertical rows are connected. So if you want to connect a wire to this hole, you can use any in the indicated row. And the same goes for any of these rows as well. If you want to connect a wire to this prong, you can use any in this row. And the same goes for this prong. If you want to connect a wire to this wire, you can use any holes in this vertical row. Now take note of where your long prong is, the positive side, as you stick it into your breadboard. You're going to take your two wires and stick them into any of the lined up holes in your breadboard. Notice it doesn't go on. Try switching your wires. Bring! And you've made light. I'm now going to use the buttons. I'm going to show you the correct way to put it into the breadboard. You do not want to see the curve of the prongs coming out. Turn it 90 degrees. This is the position you want to place them into the breadboard. If your circuit is not working, you can try rotating your buttons. We're going to place one button in, and it's going to be lined up with the negative prong of the LED. Now I'm going to put a wire in the hole just above the button, and one in the prong next to the LED. And there, you've created a circuit. To begin the project, you're going to take your breadboard and your three light LED. Notice it has a slightly longer prong. That's going to be your power prong, so take note of which one it is. You're going to bend them accordingly so they can fit into different holes and place it into your breadboard like so. Now, 
Remember, the second prong is going to be your power cord. So you can line up your LED into that one, and then the other one will define what color is made. You can experiment with this. Feel free to pause at any time. To begin this project, you're going to put your three light LED into the breadboard and stick one wire into the power prong of the LED. Put the other wire in the upper left as shown. Place a button down and you're going to attach a short wire from this line shown to the other line shown. It should look like this. Now you're going to take another wire, attach it from this line to this line. And there you have it. You've started your circuit. You now have one light going. You're going to put another button down and we're going to do something similar. We're going to attach a wire from here to here. You can use a longer wire. And now we're going to attach another wire from here to the third prong of the three light LED. Now we have two lights going. We're going to place the third button. It's going to go the same as the first two. We're going to attach a wire from the far left to the upper left of this button. Then we're going to attach one from the upper right of the button to the final prong of the three light LED. Your final button and circuit will function slightly differently. You're going to place the button here, and then you're going to place your single light LED in line with the power prong of your three light LED. The other prong has to just go to any free hole. You're going to place a wire in the final hole available on the far left and attach it to the upper left of your single button. Then you're going to attach a wire from where it's indicated from here to here. And it should function, but it's not. So I'm going to switch the single light LED around and see if it works. And we have light. We have all four lights functioning. So we have red, yellow, and green, and a bonus color. Stop. Go! Slow, go, stop, slow, go. So we hope you like this video. Please send us your feedback in the link in the description or send your feedback to mplcreates at milwaukee.gov or you can take us on Instagram with your creation at mplcreates. Thanks for watching and stay creative. Bye.